And it is about a relatively recently married couple who, for reasons we're not sure about, and we never are exactly sure why, because it seems like a bad idea from the beginning, mm -hmm. decide to go to this kind of suburban house uh, wife swapping party. And this play goes there to um, some pretty angry, hilarious, outrageous, you know, revealing, uh, disturbing, uh, challenging for us places. I tend to write about like um, people's uto utopian fantasies about themselves and how that, you know, is um, dashed on the rocks of reality. It's a story of a nun. <laughs> She's wrestling with spiritual issues. The particular calling that this nun has is to run a soup kitchen. And there's a well-meaning do-gooder uh, young woman who shows up. She's a little bit of a disaster, um, but I think she actually helps our protagonist. It's a hilarious play set in a sad soup kitchen. <laughs> it is essentially a, a coming-of-age story of a young black gay man. And uh, you see him from, uh, from childhood to maturity. And uh, it's hilarious and disturbing and outrageous. And I'm, you know, I think it's really exciting to kick off the season with a play like this. I think it says a lot about who we are. It's a mixture, I think, of, you, if you can imagine, Jackie Mason, Richard Pryor, and RuPaul. <laughs> it is a struggle of a young man in his mid-30s, I'd say, probably, uh, stuck in a small town, wanting to stay connected. It's, you know, Idaho. It's a little town. The, the, the restaurants are closing. And he wants to hold on to something. You know, he feels very anchored in. His family's been there for several generations, and he's seeing it just sort of paved over with Walmarts and Olive Gardens and Home Depots. But, but the sort of human story of it, he's really just searching for, uh, for connection. There's a, a young woman who's researching for a pharmaceutical company uh, uh, a study of a female arousal pill. And that would, of course, any, study, any kind of pharmaceutical study includes a placebo effect. It's also about, as you said, the, the, the power of expectation and, um, and the sustainability of, of desire. The lead character is a high school girl and she is like trying to navigate her life because, well, there's high school. And her mother is like sort of a desperate like online romance seeker <laughs> who uh, seems so obsessed with like trying to find something for her to connect to that the daughter's an afterthought. Jenny's work is over here somewhere in the brain and the flutterings of the upper thorax and, and Todd's work is in here. I, I don't think that we ever thought that we would be, that we, it would be at Playwrights Horizons. Um, and it couldn't, it, I mean, I couldn't be happier that it's here. Writers can celebrate the individual in a particular way, and I, I pick writers even though they often have points of view on politics or society or whatever, I really pick them because they are unique unto themselves, and that they're digging deep and aiming high, and I want to do that too, and I want to help, help lift them up to that place that, to which they aspire.